All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Up first will be Washington State coach Ernie Kent and forward Josh Hawkinson, and we'll go ahead and have coach make an opening remark about the season ahead. Uh, if there was ever a time that a, a team needed a, a summer tournament, it, it was us, an opportunity to go overseas. We went to Italy this summer and, and spent time in uh, Rome and Florence and Pisa and Venice and uh, also Lake Como. And outside of a, it being a wonderful cultural experience and bonding experience, uh, the biggest thing I was looking for uh, was to get our young players acclimated to playing basketball just at a different level. Uh, with the international rules abroad, it was a much more physical game. And I can't even imagine uh, starting the season uh, with this many young players right now, uh, just in the last couple of months. But having the opportunity to go overseas this summer was very, very valuable for us. All right, we'll go ahead and take questions for either coach or player. And please raise your hand. We'll get you a handheld microphone. And please state your name and affiliation. In the middle, right here on the right. Kevin Danham with pack-12.com. This question's for you, Josh. Uh, I saw in your bio on the team's website that your parents uh, work for the company that run the Paradise Jam. You guys are going to be playing in that uh, tournament this year. I was just kind of curious, kind of, uh, the the involvement your your parents had in bringing the Cougars uh, to uh, to the Paradise Jam this year. Uh, yeah, actually, my dad was uh, the one who led our comp the company tour to uh, Italy as well. So I got a chance to um, be with them, my Cougar family, and my actual family when we were on the trip to Italy, and then also going to the Virgin Islands uh, with my with my. Uh, dad's company as well and I've, it's a place where I grew up going I used to be a ball boy ever since up until the eighth grade and so I'd go every year take a they'd give me a break from school to to go down there and um, I saw some uh, really good players play down there I remember specifically one time Hashim the beat ran me over diving for a loose ball when I was like six years old so it's gonna be fun you know just all the memories of of being there and then finally going back and getting to play in it Any questions here on the left side towards the middle? Josh, you guys are going to be uh, incorporating a lot of new players this year. It looks like Malachi will probably start, and then guys like Jeff and, uh, and Langston will obviously play a lot. Just in the, in the time you've been with those guys, how have they fit in with the, the group, both culturally and what have you seen from them on the court? Um, you know, I think that this trip from Italy has really helped us out tremendously. Um, getting us prepared. It was basically a, almost a season in itself where it gave us a chance to, for all of our new guys to get acclimated um, into playing against high-level competition. And then I've also seen a lot of really good things from our freshmen, especially Malachi and Jeff. They, they show me a lot of good things with Malachi and his, his high IQ and Jeff, just how hard he works on, on both ends of the court. Were there questions? Down here in the front row. Ernie, how, how is it, you know, you've been in Pullman for a couple of years now. How is the recruiting to Pullman going? And, and um, I guess, what are the challenges that, and have you made some strides in that area? The biggest challenges will be just the, the travel in and out. But once we uh, get players to our campus, and I've probably heard this, uh, from 90% of those recruits that have come in, either from a, a parent or an individual, have all said the same thing. Uh, we didn't know you had all this up here. So uh, the challenge is to get them there, but once they're there, uh, Pullman, Washington State, really sells itself. And uh, we've got some very, very good players uh, coming in the door with this class right now. Already some early commitments, obviously, I can't talk about. But uh, I think, again, uh, needing to recruit the state is important. But at the same time, we feel like we have a lot to sell for those players coming out of state who don't know a lot about Washington State. Any additional questions? All right, Janie's got a follow up. Maybe for, for both of you, um, with some of the rule changes in, in recent seasons um, to, you know, make the game a little more offensive, more exciting offensively? What, what is your take on how those have, have worked? I, I think for from a coaching perspective, the more freedom of movement that they allow in basketball, the more hands off, the more cleaning up post play, 
uh, is better uh, for college basketball, and it's certainly better for the way we want to play up and down the floor. So the rules that have taken place over the last couple of years have all benefited the game. I think the points per game are up uh, six points now. They may have a few more fouls that are being called, but overall it's, it's made our game better. And we need to continue to head in that direction, I think, to create as much what I would call freedom of movement, getting away from the, the tug-of-war type basketball that's taken place in the past, uh, particularly in the post. I mean, I would, I would agree. I think it also makes it a little bit uh, harder to play defense. So um, the def defensive players, strong defensive players are, are at a premium. So having a lockdown defender just makes it a little bit, a little bit harder. But I also enjoy, with Coach Kent's offense, um, the, the higher scoring as well. Kevin in the middle. Uh, for both uh, Coach and Josh, I was wondering uh, on, on that overseas tour this summer if there was kind of one moment or a couple of moments that kind of rallied the team together that, that served as a good bonding moment for you guys. Uh, on the floor, uh, I think it was in, in game two, we had a real physical basketball team that we played in Pisa that uh, really put us back on our heels early on in the game. And it really caused this team to really come together, particularly defensively. And there was a particular possession on the floor uh, where we trapped a, a ball down in a low block that really rallied this team. And from that point on, I thought we got a lot tougher mentally uh, and physically. Uh, off the floor, it was having an opportunity to go to one of the Army bases over there and serve the troops and meeting people from Pullman, from Seattle, uh, from throughout the state of Washington, from Eugene, uh, that were actually there on the base and see how thrilled they were to have us there, but at the same time, how thrilled we were to be there and be a part of that and serve them. And it made you, it really made you proud to understand again what a great country we have when you can be in an environment like that and see those troops afar like that, uh, men and women, who protect us. Yeah, for me, I would agree. Uh, just just transitioning to see what the style of play in, in, um, in Europe is like, where everyone can shoot the ball, everyone can score. It helped us out because we, um, we really had to, to defend one through five. And everyone was, was uh, a viable shooter from the outside. So I think that, that really helped us for our season. And then, like what Coach was saying, I think going to the Army base was, was also one of the, uh, the key moments for us, just you know, seeing it's not all about us. And we got to, like you said, we got to, we got to serve some of the troops and, and just kind of give back. In the middle, row two. Josh, you were able to follow up a breakout season with, in many ways, an equally impressive season last year. What have you and Coach kind of talked about is what your next step is for this season? Um, me and Coach talk a lot about my, uh, my stamina, my endurance, um, always working hard. And uh, on both ends of the court, especially on the, on the defensive end, he says, you know, I got to continue to to be a force offensively but then transition that to to getting stops on the offensive end because if you not getting stops and scoring buckets then it's going to be a tight game so you're always going to want uh, to push to to lock down your defender on 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 the defensive end and if I could add to that he, he may need to score a little less for us to gain a little more because uh, Malachi Flynn is a really good point guard uh, along the caliber of, of Luke Ridnour, Aaron Brooks, and he has to obviously achieve that kind of success. But coming in the door, he's every bit as good as him. He makes the game so much easier for everybody else. So uh, Ike Arebu is an outstanding point guard, but we need him to go score more. We need Josh to hold up his numbers and everything. But both of those guys need help, and we feel like we have uh, help on our program right now where guys can score the ball a lot more than we've scored in the past two years. Time for one more question. Got a question over here in the far left. Steve Mims from the Register Guard. Ernie, just talk about going in and out of this year. Where do you feel like kind of this program is? And have you got kind of your guys and, and kind of your style in place at this point? You know, in year, year three of a what you would call re rebuilding a program is, is a real pivotal year, particularly with the group of seniors that we have. Uh, with Josh and Ike Rebu, Connor Clifford, Charles Callison, that's a really good group uh, that should be able to lead this team, put up numbers. And the success will depend upon, I, I think, just our mental, our mental approach, our confidence, our toughness in those areas. So the reason I feel good about this group 
is we have the opportunity to play overseas and have that miniature season. Uh, I can't even imagine what it would be like right now sitting up here if we just started again two months ago with all those new guys. But they've had practices underneath the belt. They've competed now. Uh, they've gotten yelled at a little bit and responded well. Uh, we've continued to score the basketball overseas. We've scored it since we've come back. So I just feel really good that we have a, a chance now to where we can move it move the needle, move the program, and start to do some things that uh, in the first couple of years, even though we were competitive at times, you do feel like you have a sense of playing your style of play now, uh, more so with your guys. All right, perfect. Gentlemen, thank you very much.